Soil is wonderful and it is valuable for each and every one of us. Fertile soil provides us with plant life, vegetables, grains and fibers. Forests supply us with timber and firewood. We benefit from fresh water, food and many other ecosystem services that land provides us with. But productive land is becoming scarce. Overusing land or cultivating unsuitable land leads to soil degradation and that makes us vulnerable. Cutting down forests, overgrazing, monoculture, salination, overuse of fertilizers and chemicals, or farming on sloping ground are only some causes of soil degradation. And soil degradation also worsens climate change because degraded soil can store less carbon. All this has serious consequences. Just think about food security. While land degradation is becoming worse, we are not at its mercy. A group of international partners set up the Economics of Land Degradation Initiative, ELD. The initiative established a global approach for analyzing the economics of land degradation, the potential costs and benefits that adopting sustainable land management practices bring with them. In Botswana, for example, intensive cattle ranching on private land is very profitable under current economic circumstances, while communal livestock grazing delivers the widest range of ecosystem services and therefore is more beneficial to society in the long run. ELD finds ways to measure the value of those ecosystem services. Based on such scientific analysis, the initiative provides reliable data and application-oriented tools to be used as basis for policy-making and investment decisions. Also in other areas like Central Asia, Peru, Jordan or Mali, ELD considers broader livelihood impacts and ecological implications for the economic analysis, be it with focus on sustainable land management practices, land restoration or soil and water conservation an international network was established to link science with policy and business. Land also serves as an essential asset for various industries. Degraded land incurs expenses or losses, not only to local people or countries, but also to businesses, from smallholders to large companies. Sustainable land management practices, on the other hand, are an opportunity for the private sector through improved yields, new business opportunities or by securing current operations. To support businesses in realizing the benefits of sustainable land management, ELD provides a business toolkit. Together with partners, ELD stimulates private sector companies to meet up with other decision makers and key policy makers in order to build capacity on sustainable land and soil management issues. Globally, a frightening 24% of productive land is already degraded. Economic losses due to deforestation and land degradation were estimated to be as high as 3.4 trillion euros. We only have this soil. That's why it is not enough to develop solutions together with policymakers and business leaders. We all need to be aware of the future of soil. We are the decision makers in our realm. That's why the initiative also provides a wide range of capacity building activities, such as trainings of different stakeholder groups and massive open online courses to connect people and build communities. We need to change common practices on how we use our land so that we can still rely on the valuable services it provides us with in the future. ELD made first steps by providing knowledge and building a network of experts from science, policy and business. Be a step ahead and work with us. Soil counts. Preserve it.